And welcome back to the hot lap. We're discussing, yep, Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari even more. So, Lewis Hamilton has come out with his first big statement. We know he said a, a few words. His first big statement about his Ferrari move on X slash Twitter. So, let's have a look. He says, it's been a crazy few days which have been filled with a whole range of emotions. But, as you all know, after an incredible 11 years at Mercedes AMG Petronas F1 team, the time has come for me to start a new chapter in my life and I'll be joining Scuderia Ferrari in 20. 25. I feel incredibly fortunate after achieving things with Mercedes that I could only have dreamed of as a kid, that I now have the chance to fulfill another childhood dream, driving in Ferrari Red. Mercedes has been a huge part of my life since I was 13 years old. So this decision has been the hardest I've ever had to make. I'm incredibly proud of all that we've achieved together and I'm very grateful for the hard work and dedication of everyone I've worked with over the years and of course Toto for his friendship guidance and leadership together we have won titles broken records and become the most successful driver team partnership in f1 history and of course i cannot forget nikki who was a huge supporter and um and i'll miss him every day i must also share my appreciation to the whole of the mercedes-benz board and everyone at the company in germany and around the world for supporting me over these 26 years but the time is right for a change and to take on the challenge, I still remember the feeling of taking a leap of faith into the unknown when I first joined Mercedes in 2013. I know some people didn't understand it at the time, but I was right to make the move, and then it's the feeling I have again now. And I'm excited to see what I can bring to this new opportunity and what we can do together. However, right now I'm not thinking about 2025. He said, my focus is on the upcoming season and getting back on track with Mercedes. I'm more driven than ever. I am fitter and more focused than ever. And I want to help Mercedes win once again. I am 100% committed to the job I need to do and determined to end my partnership to, uh, uh, partnership with the team on a high. Thank you all. Thank you to all of you who have been on this journey with me. You have all lifted me up as I chase my dreams and I hope I can continue to make you proud. I always, as always, sending you my love and positive energy. There we go. Wants to end on a high. He nearly ended on a high um, with McLaren. Nearly won that last race in Brazil. But I think it was Hulkenberg or Sutil. Um, but he did clash, I think, with a German. With a, definitely pretty sure it was a German driver. But there we go. So there is, there is Mr. Lewis Hamilton on his statement but can other people go and this is the thing this is from motorsport.com who has got here a uh, mercedes to discuss hamilton's f1 engineer bono's future before the ferrari move yes toto wolf has said that the team is set to discuss a possible move by ferrari um possible move to fry bay lewis hamilton's race engineer Peter Bonington. We know they get on really well together. And there they are. The, 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 the lovely the lovely couple. So on Thursday, it was revealed, as we know, Hamilton going to Ferrari. And top drives, it says here, top drivers who change teams are often drawn by staff with whom they worked at their previous outfits. If anyone remembers, for example, um, Jack Villeneuve took Jacques Clear, his race engineer, from Williams to what was going to be BAR from 97 to 98. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of other other. People have done it, but that's that's most certainly one. Schumacher, I don't know if it was race engineer, but when he left Benetton in 95 to go to Ferrari in 96, a lot of people, a la Ross Braun, I think Rory Brown, um, came to Ferrari eventually as well. And it says here, there we go, look, in 96, Schumacher was followed from Benetton to Ferrari by Ross Braun, chief designer Rory Brown, as well as other key Enstone members. In other notable examples, there we go, Jean-Claire, Jacques Villeneuve. Anyway, Hamilton has a special relationship with Bono, it says, who has been at the Brackley team since the early Honda era after starting his career at Jordan. While it's not known if Bonington is willing to move his life to Italy, Wolf indicated that he expects the subject to come up and he said i think it's i think this is a discussion which everyone needs to have in the months to come wolf said and as much as i've spoken to bono already when i told him about hamilton's move he said is it april the first that's something which we will discuss in the future so once this complication that bonington mr peter bonington or bono would uh, have to stay with mercedes until the final race of the season in abu dhabi on december the 8th and then he may well be available ferrari at the start of 25 making for a tight transition in terms of gardening leave aside from team principal fred hamilton will find a few familiar faces at ferrari although for mercedes performance director 
Mr. Sarah, was one of Vasser's first key hires, and he's starting at the team officially next year. For that long period of gardening leave, Hamilton also worked with Jockley in his first two years at Mercedes, although the latter's main current focus is on he's a part of the ferrari's young driver program and if bono is available into the race engineer job at ferrari he would have, un have to undertake a reshuffle and they'll have to find a new role for ricardo adami who is currently working with carlos Sainz. so i mean there we go that's potentially one of the ramifications of that deal but also i'll uh, quickly uh before we go uh, i'd like to talk about lewis hamilton's what I can only describe is his big money deal. Yes, big money deal here. And um, Hamilton's mega $446 million Ferrari deal with vast business empire promise. This is from Jamie Woodhouse. So Lewis Hamilton, he's reported, uh, reportedly lured to Ferrari by a deal worth, they're saying, uh, I mean, we can only estimate at this point, really, can we? And estimated 446 million and that stretches far beyond his formula one duties with with the scudiera and it looks like hamilton's future with merck was secure after he signed a multi-year contract extension during that 2023 campaign but as we know eh, eh, no there was that get out clause and it's all been blown out the window so the French publication Sports Tune has released alleged details on the financial packages put forward to Hamilton by Ferrari, who unleashed big bucks to seal this deal. And it's reported that Hamilton initially turned down a two-year deal worth over fifty million per season. Now Ferrari chairman John Elkin, Elkin, he's uh, lead, led the negotiations, and they've been reignited by Ferrari, granting Hamilton's wish for investment into his Mission 44 organisation, which I believe Mercedes did has, has done as well, while further perks were sent his way. The team, the terms agreed to by Hamilton, allegedly, include a pay packet just north of £87 million for 25, with the option to extend for 26, a quarter of that going into uh, funding Mission 44. Now, why Elkin has offered to create a joint investment via Ferrari's brand, brand company, Exor, worth over 272 million were Hamilton uh, where Hamilton would serve as the ambassador for his portfolio that's something that he was allegedly denied by the Mercedes team which I think we touched on the other day so he's kind of got what he wanted and it would have been interesting now in hindsight there will is there a parallel universe for Mercedes offered him that and he never went to Ferrari who knows but People could, I mean, with, with Hamilton, he's released that statement. People may well follow him to Ferrari. As we said, that that does happen. It's got form, like with, obviously, Michael Schumacher and Jack Villeneuve has mentioned. So stay tuned. I imagine that kind of news will probably trickle out through the end of this year as the season gets to an end, or at least the silly season, come about maybe August, September, after the summer break on any more big moves. Still a lot of people talking about who is going to... Who is going to go to Mercedes to be his to be George Russell's teammate? Sorry, for 2025. One big rumor that I thought was going to be Alex Albon. I thought that would be a really good move. However, apparently, um, Peter Windsor said on his live stream the other day that it may well be um, Alex Albon to Red Bull. He's allegedly been offered a three-year deal from 2025, which maybe makes sense. Bearing in mind that Red Bull will probably be getting cold I don't know, cold feet itchy feet, i don't know something because i don't think no one thinks sergio Perez is going to be at red bull beyond 2025 and we don't currently know how good daniel ricardo is over the course of a season or sonoda otherwise they'd have i think replaced Perez this year and they need someone and alex albon may be your safest bet but there we go we'll see anyway we'll speak to you soon like and subscribe if you can that would be amazing. Do both. You're a champion. Comment below. We, um, we reply to all our comments. And speak to you next time.